laws of logarithms. In this video, uh, I'm going to discuss with you the three laws of logarithms that we usually use to solve uh, the problems involving logarithms. Um, they are uh, the number one, the product laws, which tell us that uh, log uh, mn equal to log m plus log n. I'm going to show you the proof of these laws later. Uh, the second one is the quotient law, which uh, it shows that a log m over n or log m divided by n equal to log m minus log n. And the last one is the power law, which tell us that log m to the power of x equal to x log m. So these are the three laws that uh, we are going to discuss in this video. So now let's start with uh, the first law, eh? law number one, the product law. Okay, just now if you still remember, the product law tells us that log m n equal to log m plus log n. Eh? Okay, so now let's see how uh, this law is to use. Eh? Okay, let's say um, we have m. And let's say this m is equal to uh, a to the power of x, okay? And uh, <clears throat> we know that this can be written as log a m equal to x, right? Okay, this is what we discussed in previous video. And let's say um, our capital N is equal to a to the power of y. And as we know that this can be written as log base a n equal to y. Okay, so let's start with uh, this. Eh? Okay, let's say we have log m times n. Okay, so we can substitute m equal to a to the power of x and n equal to a to the power of y. Eh? So it becomes log a to the power of x times a to the power of y and we know that a to the power of x multiplied by a to the power of y is equal to a x plus y right okay now in previous videos we have learned that log a a x is equal to x right a to the power of x equal to a to the power of x eh? okay so um let's say the base of all these logarithms are a eh? okay if this is the case then we can straight away by using this formula we can straight away tell that this log base a a to the power of x plus y is equal to x plus y right because a to the power of x plus y equal to a to the power of x plus y let me, let me write it down here log a a to the power of x plus y so so a to the power of x plus y equal to a to the power of x plus y okay so log a a to the power of x plus y equal to x plus y and then from here we know that actually x is equal to log base a m so so this is equal to log base a m plus and our y is equal to log base a n log base a n okay so um then straight away you should recognize that this is the product laws uh, log mn base a equal to log m base a plus log n base a yeah? okay so this is the product law now let's continue with the second law uh, the quotient law and the quotient law tells us that log m over n is equal to log m minus log n okay the way to prove this law is pretty much the same as the ways that uh, we use to prove the products laws eh? okay so um 
we can use this the same set of uh, number here or same set of this uh, algebra here to for uh, the proof of this law okay so let's start with um, log m over n and let's say the base of this logarithm is a okay so this is equal to now from here we know that m equal to a to the power of x so it's a to the power of x and then it's our n equal to a to the power of y a to the power of y and by using the law of the index numbers uh, we know that this is equal to a x minus y okay and uh, we know that okay this is actually equal to x minus y because just now we learned that log a a to the power of x equal to x right okay so log a to the power of x minus y base a equal to x minus y and then we know that x equal to log a m okay or log m base a so this is a uh, log m base a and then minus uh, y equals to log n base a so minus log n base a okay and uh, yes this is the proof for the quotient law right okay so um, let's continue with the last one uh, law number three the power law the, okay the power law tell us that log a to the power of m x is equal to x log m base a okay okay let's start with um log a m to the power of x okay and we know that this is actually equals to log a m multiply by m multiply by m for x time right okay so we have x number of m right okay now by using the product laws we can tell that this is equal to log m base a plus log m base a plus log m base a plus log m base a so we have we have this for we have x number of log m base a right okay because this is m to the power of x huh? So we have x numbers of m, and after, by using the product laws, we can tell that uh, uh, we have this uh, additions of x numbers of log m base a. And uh, since we have x numbers of log m base a, and straight away we can tell that this is equal to x log m base a. For example, if we have uh, 5 plus 5 plus 5 for 6 times, then we have 6 times 5, right? So if we have x numbers of log m base a, then this is equal to x uh, log m base a. And yes, this is a proof for the uh, power laws of a logarithm.